Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is episode 43 of my $25 thrift challenge series and we are officially on the countdown to episode 50. I can't wait for episode 50 because there's some big stuff coming. So if you have stuck with this series, thank you so much. If you've watched all 43 episodes, please leave me a comment down below letting me know because you have no idea how much I appreciate that. I realize each of these episodes are like 20 minutes long. You guys have dedicated a lot of time to this series. Like I mentioned, episode 50, there's some big plans for that one so if you skip any more episodes that's fine just make sure you tune in for episode 50 and maybe episode 45 hint hint last week I thrifted with my friend Callie and it makes me so happy that you guys love my friends as much as I do they're all so stylish and sweet and perfect and honestly the thrift challenge is just way more fun with other people so if you enjoy those types of videos where I bring people along and we thrift together let me know down below in the comments anyway if you guys are new to my channel in this series I go thrift almost every week to put together an outfit for $25 or less. Sometimes I can't find an outfit so I just thrift pieces that I can but basically I started this whole series because I wanted to prove that you do not need to spend a lot of money to look stylish and honestly some of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe are thrifted. You can find some amazing gems so I basically just go for fun at this point because let's be honest I do not need more clothes. I've thrifted 42 episodes so I'm good on clothing but I just go for fun now and you guys love these videos so I don't really see them stopping anytime soon. If you love this series though, please give this video a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel and you love thrifting and you want to stick around, be sure to click that subscribe button. But let's go on in and see what we can find. So I really love these shoes, but they're like $20 and out of my budget already. So. I feel like Goodwill has gotten low-key expensive, which is really frustrating. And they also took away their 99 cent tag, which drives me crazy because it kind of makes this thrift challenge impossible. So I'm gonna try my best. So we're gonna switch it up today. And I think I'm gonna start in jeans. Actually, I know I'm gonna start in jeans. I don't know why I just said I think. I'm gonna start in jeans and basically just see if I can find a pair of pants because that's kind of what this whole outfit's based off of. very rocky start but now I'm gonna go through long sleeve tops I don't need any more white button downs but if I did this would be a great option I just found an Oscar de la Renta sweater in my favorite color. So this is the best day of my life, basically. Hey. Hey. Okay, so I ended up finding a ton of tops. Probably like 15 or 20 long sleeve tops, which I was not expecting, but I'm super excited because they're all really fun patterns and colors. Now I'm gonna go through skirts. gorgeous top look how pretty this is it's like an off-shoulder one unfortunately i think it's gonna be too big but i just thought this pattern and material was so pretty so now i'm gonna go through short sleeve tops i already found a ton of long sleeve tops so i don't even really need to find any short sleeves but i just i can't not look
have discovered that when it comes to thrifting, I have extreme FOMO. Like, I don't even need to look through tank tops whatsoever, but I can't not look through tank tops. And when I look through everything, I have to look through like almost all of the sizes because what if there's something that I'm missing that could be amazing? And basically, I've never experienced this much FOMO except when thrifting. So if you guys also just like can't not look through stuff, like everything, let me know because I hope I'm not alone in this. I feel like if you love thrifting, you search through every single rack. It's like what you do. So let me know if you do that too. My FOMO when it comes to thrifting is the number one reason that I find what I find because I search through every single piece of clothing and I do not leave anything unsearched because you never know what you could find. So that's probably like my number one tip to anybody who's just getting into thrifting and is wondering, how do you find all the things that you find every single episode? It's because I literally look at every single piece of clothing. Even if I see like a group or like a rack of clothing and I don't see anything in it, like no pattern or color that I would even be sort of interested in, I still look through every piece of clothing because you never know what's hidden. So yes, if you are trying to figure out how to find good items, just you know, dedicate two or three hours of your life to thrifting when you go because I literally spend two to three hours every single episode just searching. Now I'm gonna go through bags and see what there is. Because Goodwill has increased their prices on like their bags and their shoes, I've kind of gotten to the point where I don't love it 100% can see myself wearing it all the time I usually pass on it so it's not super often that I find bags or shoes anymore okay now I'm gonna go through sweaters and then shoes and then I'm done go through shoes and then try everything on I already found so much stuff I don't even know how I'm gonna stay in budget I'm really gonna try though because I don't want to go over like I always do wish me luck I really love the style of shoe these like kind of pointed toe but these ones are a size 8 which are too big okay these are also super cute but they're $17 I will say though for bags and shoes I don't have a problem spending like a good amount of money on like new items I just don't love spending more than like 10 bucks on something that's used these shoes are super cute I love the platform and the little fringes in the top okay so this is everything I found basically all tops but I'm really loving this like color palette I didn't even try to do a color palette but lots of yellows and greens and really pretty patterns so I'm gonna try this stuff on show you what doesn't work and then show you what I pick out when I get home okay so I really love this pattern on the hanger but on I'm not sure if I'm thrilled about these front pockets I like when button downs are a little bit more plain like when they don't have these in the front where it's just solid so this is definitely a maybe all right I'm just gonna keep my glasses off for the rest of this try on because I kept having to put them on and off and my eyes were like freaking out from all that so I'm just gonna leave them off this shirt is a J Crew top and it fits really nicely it has little anchors on it this one is also a maybe I feel like all of these are maybes because I don't 
love them, but I don't not like them. So I realized that the reason I like this top is because I have a dress in this exact same floral Hawaiian print. Seriously, if you remember that dress, let me know because it took me a while to figure out why I liked this. And then I was like, I have this dress. Okay, I love this pattern so much. Like this shirt is just huge on me. So this one is a no. Also, I wish this pocket wasn't here because I love just this side, but I'm not like a fan of this side. So I'm gonna pass on this. So I actually kind of like this top. I went ahead and knotted it just to kind of make it look a little bit more form-fitting. So this is a maybe. I don't know if I'm gonna get it, but I thought it was cute. This is like an off-shoulder crop top. I'm not sure I love how short it is because I feel like I'd want to keep pulling it down. Okay, I really liked the neckline on this top, but I think I'm gonna pass on it. Not loving it. I'm really glad I tried this one on because I have no idea what I was thinking when I said, that's really cute, I love that. This looks so bad. First of all, look how big this shoulder is. Like, this is where my shoulder is and it like sticks out. This is really ugly. Really glad I tried this one on. Also, I totally forgot to show you guys my outfit. I am wearing a Mott & Bow t-shirt. These are the softest tees I own. Some Mott & Bow mom jeans. I love these. They fit seriously amazing. I'm gonna link everything I'm wearing down below. And then I've got on my new Madewell sneakers. I love these. They're like high tops and they're super cute. They have brown and black on them. Okay guys, I just finished. I was in there for two and a half hours and I apologize if the air is loud in this car. It's 100 degrees and I am dying and if I turn the air off, I will literally melt. I ended up spending $23 and I got a ton of stuff because a lot of it was half off. So I'm super excited to show you everything I got and I think you guys are gonna really like these pieces. So I just got home and I'm excited to try everything on for you because I got a ton of really great tops, fun patterns and colors like I mentioned before. I spent $23 on all of my pieces, so I was under budget, which I'm super proud of. And we're just gonna go ahead and try it all on. If you're wondering what this little blob is, it's Riley. Say hi, Riley! That's her tail. <laughs> I just want to take a moment to acknowledge the fact that all of the bulbs in my string lights are out. They're not doing so hot. So I got a ton of button downs, and they're all super unique. I'm just gonna start with the first one. Can we just take a moment? with this pattern how amazing are these colors i am so excited about this i think they're like tulips but honestly it's a little bit abstract you can see all the colors in it it's definitely like a spring summer top so i'm going to try to get a little bit of wear out of it so this is that first top and it's a little bit oversized but i'm fine with it because i ended up tying it anyway but basically the pattern is everything it's so pretty and really unique i could see myself pairing this with like a white skirt or white pants i feel like would be really pretty for summer but this is what the pattern looks like up close you can see all the colors in it and i am just so obsessed with these florals the next piece that i got is this adorable vintage sweater i am so excited about this because the color is amazing it's this beautiful pastel yellow and what i love about this sweater are all the little details it has like these scalloped edges and then the sweater itself has a little bit of like an eyelet detail in it so i love this tucked into jeans and it's honestly so cute on i'm very happy about this find so so I know this is a really basic piece, but I just love this color. I think this is perfect. It's like a beautiful pastel yellow. And my favorite part is that it has all these little details in it that are really subtle. I've been loving the look of thin sweaters tucked into pants, almost like a top instead of a sweater. I really love this and I think it's super cute. I could see myself wearing this with sandals or with sneakers. It feels really versatile. But this is what the top looks like up close. You can see the details in it, which are my favorite part. And then the sleeves have that scalloping as well. Next piece is this adorable blouse, but I thought this pattern was so pretty. And the only thing that I'm not thrilled about is that the front of it kind of comes open, so I need to either wear a tank top underneath it or maybe stitch it so that it doesn't fly open. You guys are going to love this one on. The color is just really pretty, and I feel like this would actually be a great fall top. So currently, I can't do a lot of moving in this shirt because if I do, this will literally come right open and you will see my entire stomach area which is not cute so I'm just gonna you know not move my body too much but that's a really quick fix I can just sew that really quickly and it will be fine I do love that this shirt has these kind of like puffy sleeves right here that's a fun detail and this print is so 
beautiful for fall. This is what the top looks like up close. You can see the print a little bit better. The next piece is this amazing, just plain tan button down. And the reason I was so drawn to this is because the fabric is so nice. And then also the sleeves are like a perfect length on me. I don't know if this is like a petite jacket or honestly, if it's supposed to be kind of like a shorter sleeve on people, but it fits me great. So I love the fit of this and I think this would be a really great fall top. So this is that tan button down and I love the sleeve length on me. It's great because I don't have to roll the sleeves. I feel like with all the button downs that I have, I always have to roll the sleeves and these ones are like the perfect length so they're probably supposed to be a lot shorter on like normal people but i'm so small that it ends up being a long sleeve on me but i love the material of this and i really like that the sleeve is pretty wide so they're not like tight sleeves this is a very like boxy shirt and this is what it looks like up close the next piece is a little bit wild but just hang with me because i really like it it is a lime green top and before you guys judge me, this color is very in right now and I wanted to jump on the trend before it was too late. I love trying out trends with thrifted items because you don't have to invest a lot of money into a piece that is literally just a trend piece. So we all know that lime green is going to be one of those things that we look back on in five years and regret. So I thought I would just, you know, not heavily invest money into this trend that honestly I can't believe is even a thing because I didn't even know I liked neon colors until I saw everyone else wearing on colors so i've seen so much lime green on like instagram so i'm jumping on the trend i love the ruffle detailing the tie in the front and then the sleeves are also ruffled as well so it's honestly a gorgeous top like if this was in white i would wear it all the time it fits amazing so yeah, it's lime green, but I think it's really cute. Jason's probably gonna be like, why the heck did you buy a lime green top? And I'm just, you know, I'm trying to keep up with the trends. So this is definitely lime green. And if you don't like this top, that's totally fine. I don't blame you. Obviously, it's a very trendy piece. Honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna be into it in like a year. So other than that, the fit is actually really great. I love the sleeves on this top as well as the neckline and this little tie. I think the top itself is really cute. The color's just very polarizing. But this is what it looks like up close. And yeah, like I said, I love these like ruffle details. It's actually really flattering. It fits really well. The next piece is another colorful top. And this one needs to be steamed. So don't judge the shirt based on what it looks like right now because it is really wrinkly. It's this beautiful yellow top. And honestly, it kind of looks like a macaroni noodle, but really it's so beautiful in natural light. I love this yellow on me with my dark hair. I love just how plain it is and I can wear it with jeans and layer jewelry with it. So this is the yellow top and I really love the way that it looks with my dark hair. Obviously it is so wrinkly. I need to steam this or wash it because yeah, I would not wear it out like this but I do love the color. I went ahead and tied it because that's the easiest thing to do. You guys know I tie all of my button downs. And this is what the shirt looks like up close. You can see it has kind of like that fold so you don't see the buttons, which is a fun detail. And the last piece, you guys know I have to end on the Oscar de la Renta piece. It is this beautiful lilac long sleeve. And honestly, it could be just like a PJ top. I don't know. But anyway, I'm still here for it because how often do you find a designer piece at like a Goodwill. So I'm super excited about it. I love this color. This color is so trendy right now. And honestly, this would look amazing with like long layered necklaces and like big gold hoops. So yeah, I'm really excited I found this. It's obviously not like a crazy designer piece, but super happy about this. And this was just like the cherry on top to like an amazing thrifting day. I found so many great tops. I love all of the patterns and colors. I feel like that's like a great way to end summer thrifting. So this is the Oscar de la Renta shirt and I really like it. It's super cozy and casual casual and honestly it would look really good tucked in all the way around. I love this color. It's so pretty and honestly it's such a trendy color so I'm really glad I found this right now. And this is what the top looks like up close. It kind of has like a waffle texture to it. It's lightweight enough to wear underneath a jacket but it's also like a long sleeve so I can definitely wear this in the fall and winter. But that's everything for this week's episode of the Buy Chloe Win $25 Thrift Challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode. If you did please give it a big thumbs up up and leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite piece was. If you haven't already, be sure to check out my other 42 episodes. Be on the lookout for episode 45 and episode 50 because both of those are going to be pretty big, so do not miss those episodes. If you enjoy my videos and you'd like to stick around, be sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you in my next one. Bye!